<clears throat> Mr. Silver Knot at 759. I'm gonna <clears throat> show you how to. <clears throat> if you don't have the, the caliper method, and take take a caliper like that. I got this at Harbor Freight, but I I bought some at. Uh, Aldi's grocery store and you set it lock this down here you gotta set it to zero and then you make your coin well we're gonna use uh, I think a Duchess uh, coin 19 <coughs> 18 and you want to measure that coin and the caliper. You open open that up and measure it. And hold it tight there. And it's 25.16 millimeters. So I put it on millimeters. <clears throat> so you write down the first number. That's the coin size. Then you're going to do this die you will use, and I'm going to use a half inch, so I'm going to measure that half inch and see what that is. 12.59. So you drag that number down. So I ain't too, too good in the math, but it's got 12.57 millimeters. I just do it on a calculator because it's more accurate. And then you divide it by two. <clears throat> divide that by two, and you'll get an answer. And you put you put the cal caliper, and then you uh, <clears throat> get a very fine. Sharpie, ultra fine Sharpie. I gotta use blue. If blue shows up a lot better. And your result is six point two eight five. I'll round that off. Six two point. I put six point two nine. And ground it off at five. So that's, uh, that's your measurements for your caliper. You lock that in. <clears throat> that's a measurement 6.29. Then you take your coin and set it against there and then draw a line. Draw a line, draw a line all, all the way until you go all the way around the coin. And you just do a line here. And move it with another line and then move it there until you get all the way around. And your final results is that. Like that. And <clears throat> Let's show you how to do it. I how I do it. You can put a piece of leather in there. You can put a piece of pa couple paper towels to hold it. But I I do a pa painter's oh uh blue uh painter's tape. And I'll show you how you do that. Yeah, I use a nine piece punch and die set, a clear one. And I'm gonna do a half inch die there. a piece of painter's tape and I put it on my clothes and not make it not as sticky I put it on my cup my pant pants leg or something like that right there and I peel it off and uh, then I put put it on put the coin in here Probably about right here because I want to use it again. So 
So you put put it put it like that. Yeah, I'll see if I can put it put it down there. <clears throat> so I tape through there. Oh. Slide that tape through there. Put about right there. Whoa. And stick that coin in there. Slide it on there. And then <clears throat> I go to the table and I'll meet you over yeah, there. The nine-piece nine punch and die set. I'll put it over there by the tray. <clears throat> right there. And I'd line, I would line that to the Sharpie mark all the way around. Get as close as I can, as not as center right, and then I put them sides on there, and you're ready to punch. And then I just put one side and switch it around until I get it exactly the center, and then I take both sides, and I, it don't really move. And I take the die, like my punch, and punch it out. Put it in there. I always put uh, some dry lube on. I put some dry lube on. Put it on there and punch it out. Nice and tight, so I have to hold on to that because it might be thick, and yeah, it comes punch pretty good. You separate that and go from there. And it's worth what is nice about this tray. I slide it underneath that six ton arbor press. So all the way through the coin, it ain't gonna move. Get another another uh, smaller die, probably the seven sixteenths, and push it through. Puts in the tray and you're done. Yeah, and you pull that tray out. You got your two sets of dies and you got your little center punch. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these, but I don't know. Bury them. Have some other treasure hunter find it or something. They'll say, "What's that?" <laughs> So that's uh, uh, that's how I do it, the uh, caliper method, and a nine piece, and I do piece of painter's tape, and it it works fine. I don't have to do leather. Sometimes I use leather if it's a really uh, expensive coin or something like that, but I use the painter's tape, and it it works for me really really good.
it's quick you can move it around did the Canadian cent one cent right. red lines and <clears throat> with their lines just do it barely see it and then punch it out this I'm going to use it 7 16 for a customer who wants a smaller ring like a size 5 I really don't make it a size 5 that much, but uh, be an exception. She was a really good friend of mine. Her uh, son I, I trained and stuff like that. And um, he died on Christmas Day, and I'm going to make this ring for her. She wants that ring like I wear. Um, a Canadian one cent with the leaves on it so it'll be a little bit smaller but and that, that, that'll that'll that and then it'll but that's how I do the tape I just tape the sides move it a little bit and then tape the other side and then punch it out slide it out and sometimes it's difficult to slide it out sometimes it rips and you know, painter's tape ain't that, that much. You can buy a big roll for like two bucks. So, I'm going to punch this out and paint, punching a lot of coins out and then uh, taking pictures of my uh, rings. And I started my own website, Mr. Silver's Custom Coin Rings. And since I. Uh, had to add a newspaper, I'm um, getting all kinds of hits, so um, I'm making a lot of rings. Good thing about the paper, I free advertisement and and uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good, it'd be good. And I'm making some coins for international coin shooters uh, fall hunt. They bury uh, coins and. Um, I'm going to make some more rings and stuff like that for him. Alright. Get back to you. <clears throat> that one. That one slides out easy. A lot of play there. A slide out. A thicker coin like I just did it. And it kind of ripped. And then you have that. And then I use it again not sticky just enough to stick it on the side so I use that by three or four coins I throw it away and got a lot of coins punched out so I better get busy and make a mother two rings with a mother customer and start pending a, <clears throat> a dollar now since I got the dies it's cone shape, but it, it takes a lot to do that because they're um, <clears throat> although it's really thick. So we'll try it. I don't know. I may. Mean, I don't think I make too many gold. Uh, maybe gold dollars or something that's thinner, but that's 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 pretty tough sometimes break a lot of beads and stuff but all right happy hunting see you next time